He's gonna be my video update on our cistern. It's gonna be cold tomorrow, so I might spend some time doing some editing on videos and stuff. Ah, start. There's a lot of junk in here right now because we're still finalizing all the plumbing and whatnot. Put my gloves off. This is the tank. Got plywood cover on it right now. The humidifier because it's awful humid in here. And you can't see the bottom, but it's 13 feet down into the ground from the top of the top of this lip here down to 13 feet. Got our plug-ins for all of the wells. Got our pressure tank. These are all the wells coming in. There's only three of them hooked up right now. These silver sections right there are actually flow reducers. So we're not over pumping the wells and causing the well pumps to run well pumps to run dry. Um, like this one I believe is a six gallon per minute. This one over here is a two gallon per minute. This is also a two gallon per minute. And then this one over here is a one and a half. Uh, I believe that this one here, we're going to actually increase it again. Uh, we just got that old manifold did together being made the manifold. Um, going out here to the water meter. Just something like curiosity, I guess I decided to put a water meter in. 52,000 gallons of water we've used since, uh, since we've built this. Well, since I put the water meter in. Uh, these two lines here, they both go in pipes down to the bottom. You can almost see the bottom there. You got the pump that pump out of the building or out of the tank in. And that way, if one of them goes bad, we have a backup. Or if the pressure drops below a certain pound, the second pump kicks on. And we've got hydrants outside we can pump about 33 gallons a minute out of. Um, if we wanted to, this is our town water, our city water, our, our rural water that we call it here. So we can turn that on and off. Right now we're not using it at all. Um, we shouldn't have to use it unless something happens to the wells. Um, these lines come down from the pump there and come over. And these three big lines are the lines that go out to the different directions of our, of our water lines. And then this manifold here is another one for the city water where we can hook it up to my brother's house or just my parents' house over there, depending on which one we want to use so that those drop the pressures in the house tremendously. We have also made it so if something happens and we don't want to use the tank, we can shut this valve here that goes into the tank and open this valve and actually have the wells pump directly out of the building and go back out without going into the tank is if there needs to be repair done on the tank or whatnot. Um, the ladder, I'm sure I'll get questions about why is there a ladder in your tank. Well, I figured someone will end up being out here someday and fall in, which I hope it never happens, but that way if uh, somebody falls in because they're being stupid, they can crawl themselves back out. Um, hopefully so anyhow and I did have one question of why this tank ended up where it was at and I will show you now is that's where all the water lines there are coming from so all we had to do is go from that little hut which I got a couple wells in it and old plumbing we just had to go over here and then we've got a well right there and then another well right behind that truck um, and then there's two wells actually in that hole in the ground in that building so all the lines are already here to go out so this is why the building ended up where it's at thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe this is a shot cap have a good day